good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Merujan Stepanyan, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia. Rallies to be held simultaneously in Yerevan and Stepanagir. Geram Stepanyan called on participants in the Shushi Media Forum to cover the extreme crisis situation in Artsakh. Menendez proposed amending the U.S. Defense Act to curb Azerbaijan's aggression. Where there is much holiness, there are more trials. The Sanahi Monastery is being renovated. Let's support Western Armenian television. Merujan Stepanyan was born in Gyumri on January 17, 1993. He studied at school number 42 in the Mush district of Gyumri. After graduating from this school, he entered the military institute named Vazgen Sarksam. After graduating from the institute, he started work and moved to Yerevan with his family. Merujan was engaged in painting, playing the shivi and singing. He received the rank of senior lieutenant for discipline service in the army. The commander of force Palton senior lieutenant and Merujan Stepanyan, a contract soldier, soldier Rafi Kakopyan, Agasya Satryan and Viktor Yuzikovic were killed during the Azerbaijan attack on the contact line on the night of April 2, 2 3, 2016 in the Talish fighting position. You were living in Yerevan at the time, recalls Merujan's mother, Mrs. Nune. My husband was working at the Vazgen Sarkisan Institute. He called the child to talk to him. There is a war in Talish. The situation is very bad. I called. I talked to Merujan. As usual, he was in a very good mood and said, Mom, I haven't lied to you for so long. I won't lie to you today. And you believe me. What you heard about, you were worried. It was just sabotage. We sent him away. Now it's just time to rest. Well, rest. And Meru said, Mom, what are you doing? I said, I'm at home. And he said, I have to ask you something. Go to church quickly and light a candle. Light a candle so my boy and I are safe. I went and already knew that God was on my side and nothing would happen. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, it did. It was the morning of April 2, already half past 9. Merush said, Mom, the night was normal. There is nothing to worry about. Be calm. I'll sleep. Wake up and call again. And I believed. I always believed in him because he was always master of his word. I believed that day too, but that belief turned to anxiety. I became impatient. I was constantly waiting for calls and those calls weren't coming. One of the great treasures of the Armenian world is the Museum of Ancient Manuscripts, Matenadara, where parchment manuscripts created over many centuries are preserved. They are written on sheepskin of calfskin parchment. Those who received the scroll would prepare the animals. They were prepared. Armenians also regarded writers and historians as innovators. For example, the 5th century historian Moses Khorinati is called Kertogahar. Sometimes foreigners were surprised to see how Armenians received parchment. Once outside the royal slaughterhouse in the town of Devin, a foreign merchant had a conversation with an Armenian intellectual. Why do you slit the throats of these 500 sheep? He asked. For the parchment. The flesh will remain for the people and the skin will be turned into parchment. And now, many scrolls will be written with so much parchment. T.A. Big Book. Is it worth writing a book in this bad year, wonders the merchant and ponders in his head how stupid these Armenians are. Man does not live by bread alone, says the wise man. The body dies for want of bread and the soul dies for want of books. Hunger for the soul is more destructive than hunger for bread. Perchman books are the spiritual nourishment and wealth of Armenians, he wise man answers. On July 25 at 8 o'clock, it is planned to hold simultaneous rallies at the Revival Square in the Stepanakert and Freedom Square in Yerevan. As Army Press reports, this was announced by the State Minister of the Republic of Artsakh, Gurgen Nersisyan, on his Facebook page. I informed that on July 25 at 8 o'clock, at the same time, it is planned to hold rallies at the Revival Square in Stepanakert and Freedom Square in Yerevan. The participants of the nationwide movement in the two squares will be connected online by large screens to unite our voices and confirm our united struggle for the lifting of blockade of Artsakh and the prevention of a humanitarian disaster, for respecting the right of the people of Artsakh to self-determination and condemning any deviation from it. I urge the participants of the various actions held in defense on the people of Artsakh and our compatriots in the Republic of Armenia to unite and together express the collective will of the Armenian people and our unwavering position on the issue of Artsakh. Artsakh and the people of Artsakh cannot be part of Azerbaijan. Everyone's participation is important for Artsakh and the Artsakh people. 
Artsakh Human Rights Defender Geram Stepanian has published a video from the Berzal Corridor linking Artsakh to the Republic of Armenia, inviting international media representatives covering the international forum organized by Azerbaijan in Shushi to bear personal witness and cover the extreme crisis situation in Stepanagert, Artsakh. On the road from Stepanagert, Shushi, a group of journalists addressed their voice of protest to the participants of the World Media Forum in Shushi, demanding their colleagues not to become a tool in the hands of Azerbaijani dictatorship and to to cover the humanitarian crisis in Artsakh, he published in the video. U.S. Senator Robert Menendez, chairman of the Senate International Relations Committee, has introduced draft legislative amendments to hold Azerbaijan accountable for aggression and alleged war crimes against Armenians in Armenia and Artsakh, as well as to hold the export of military hardware to Baku. Nearly a year after Azerbaijan's attack on eastern Armenia and more than 200 days after the Aliyev regime surrounded the indigenous Armenian population of Nagorno-Karabakh, it is clear that Azerbaijan is using offensive forces and continues to insert called the defenseless Armenian population, said Menendez. The annual application of the reservation of Article 907 of the Freedom of Assistance Act violation the spirit of the law. Moreover, given Azerbaijan's aggressive behavior, it is clear that the conditions for using the reserve have not been met. In view of this mockery of the law, it is high time to repeal the reserve and put pressure on Baku to stop its aggressive actions against Armenians. I stand by the people of Nagorno-Karabakh who are in danger of starvation and the Armenian people who are still recovering from their own losses, which they suffered as a result of Azerbaijan's invasion of their homeland, he added. There can be no peace without justice. This is why I firmly believe that we must continue to investigate all alleged war crimes. In addition, we must put pressure on the Aliyev regime to prevent future crimes, including by imposing sanctions on those responsible, he said. The Sanahi Monastery Complex, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has been through many trials and tribulations up to present day. Renovation work on the Sanahi Monastery Complex will be completed this year. In a conversation with Sputnik Armenia, Harut Chumvanian, head of the Department of History and Protection of Cultural Monuments of the Area Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports, disclosed the information. He mentioned that not only will the roof repair work be completed this year with state funds, but also some improvement work will be carried out in the area, solving the problem of the retaining wall and drainage. The chapel of the Holy Resurrection and the Church of St. Jacob in the area of the Sanhe Monastery Complex have also been renovated, and now the tomb of Zakarians and Arhutians is being renovated. Western Armenia Television, true to its principles and its viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It broadcasts mainly political and other contexts related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as information raising various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible way. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> Hayotaski Hamar, Merne Parke, 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 Hayotaski Hamar